In Gaza, municipal bulldozers are destroying dozens of homes, and hundreds of people are now homeless. Local authorities say the demolitions are necessary to make room for better infrastructure, but families are angry, saying they have been forcefully displaced. FSRN's Rami Al Magari has more. Dozens of women and children from Gaza City spent a winter night at a cold, unheated mosque. They are not here to worship, but to shelter after local municipal authorities demolished their homes early Wednesday morning. Um Khaled Al Najjar is a 50 year old mother of four sons. Two of them are married and they all lived in the same demolished home. <laughs> They force us out of our homes and beat a woman and my son in his back. Where should we go? We have been here since 1948. What treatment? They detain the youth and cordon off the sea and surrounding areas from west to east, the same way the Israelis do. As you see, we are sitting in this mosque in such cold weather. Among the displaced are many elderly Gazans, including Abdullah Miqdad who was also forced out of his home in historical Palestinian town of Hamama in 1948. My family immigrated from Hamama to this area about 60 years ago. That two-story building is my home that cost me about $30,000. If they give me a piece of land, I will stay idle in it, for I can't afford to build on it. Displaced residents say the Gaza-based Palestinian Lands Authority has not compensated them properly and that the demolition is an excessive measure. Yet the Land Authority refutes such claims and says that the lands bulldozed are owned by the government. Amal Shamali is a spokesperson for the Lands Authority in Gaza. Last Sunday, the chief for the Lands Authority, along with representatives for these residents, agreed on a land swap in the Atatra area in northern Gaza, but they later refused the offer. There is a decision dated January 17, 2012, stating that each family to be displaced should be paid a sum of $1,500 for renting a home. The $1,500 compensation offered by authorities would pay for rent for about six months. The Lands Authority says that 50 families of the bulldozed Hamami coastal area will now be transferred to government-owned lands in southern Gaza. Families will be eligible to buy land in this area for a discounted price, paid in monthly installments for a period of 10 years. The Gaza municipality says the area needed to be cleared for a vital infrastructure project, which includes expanding a road and installing a sewage water network. Engineer Hatim al-Sheikh Khalil is a spokesperson for the Gaza municipality. In Gaza City, we rarely implement a new project, and maybe you have observed that most of the projects done are mainly maintenance of roads that have been damaged during the blockade and Israeli bombardments at a time when raw building materials were lacking. As much as we can, we try to ensure some good welfare for the residents by implementing basic projects. For example, when you cross the target Al-Rashid Street in summertime, you'll find lots of traffic jams, though it is a main road. The 2009 Israeli war on Gaza destroyed roads, buildings, homes and other infrastructure. Much of it has yet to be repaired. And this is the first major scale project since 2007. But as demolitions continued Wednesday, displaced families questioned the way authorities went about this project and whether they had to destroy so many houses. An estimated 400 people lost their homes. They will now seek rental housing after being uprooted once again. Rami Al-Mirari, Free Speech Radio News, Gaza.